Hey, what's up, everybody? This is JD on the ones and the twos. How are you doing? This is the Palace Network. I just want to let you know we're on YouTube and JD the Motivator, which is on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So, a thought that came about by Pastor Flo uh, stating a bruised reed he will not break or a smolting wick he will not extinguish. And uh, reading both in Matthew 12 and also in Isaiah, we was talking about the characteristics of a Messiah. So he's not going to break something that's already been attempted to be broken by people, by man, and by circumstances. God is not looking to break you. God is not looking to stump on you. And also a smoldering wick, somebody that's on fire, he's not looking to take your fire out. He wants your fire to be boisterous and to keep going because he sees something in you. Oftentimes, dealing with people, I don't want to say any institution, dealing with people, we get hurt, especially with people we love. And this is by family and friends because you, don't expect, you do not expect family or friends to hurt you. But those are some of the ones that can hurt you because they are the closest to you. Does that make sense? So a lot of times you get bruised and you got people that are supposed to be in your corner want to either break you or put your fire out. It could be they don't want you to, you know, hurt yourself by going for an astronomical goal. But my mother used to say, shoot for the stars. You may land on the moon. Or they do it because they are mean and evil. But you got to have the ability to bounce back. One of my aunties had passed away, and she's one of my favorite aunties because when I came back to Memphis from Chicago, she was going through some things. But I declare, she did a 180. She was able to shake that. She was able to reject being depressed and oppressed. She was able to, she was able to live life again and be that sweet, quiet woman that she was. Sweet, can light up a room with a smile, she was cool with every family member. And she was bruised when she went through life. But she got her fire back, y'all. And God didn't quench that. He blessed her. She became more active in church, even preached her first sermon. So if God is not there to bruise you and you're trying to reach out to them, don't, don't fall into that trap that he don't want you. That he's not looking for the best in you. For the scripture let us know he's married to the backslider. He loves you. He wants you to be accountable. He wants you to be loving. He wants you to be just like Christ. And that's what we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be little versions of him. Even in Genesis chapter number 1 verse number 26 and 27 says, and let us make man in our own image and our likeness. And let them have what? Dominion over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, the beasts of the field, and all the creeping things. He wanted you to be just like him. So in order for us to be like him, we got to pray to him. He accept us. You know, some institutions can act weird and stupid, and even church folks but that's not there to take you out. They rejected Christ. The church crucified Jesus Christ. So what you think they're gonna do with you when you start telling them the truth? But guess what? You ain't gotta get crucified, keep showing up. Because when you show up, somebody else sees that. When you show up, somebody else sees that, you know what, She's, she or he is different. Yeah, Jesus got hurt by the church. But guess what? He's still there for us. He's not going to break you. He's not going to quench your fire. If anything, he wants you to intensify it. John lets us know that, amen, when Jesus was about ready to die, be buried and crucified and ascension, he told them, he said, hey, ah, the works that I do, you should be able to do also even greater because I go back to who? My Father. So he lets us know he's better, that we should do greater works. And it doesn't matter if you bruise. It doesn't matter if people try to extinguish 
your fire, it matters what you do with it, with the talent and the time you have. Because look, time tomorrow is not guaranteed to you. Act on it today. Are you hearing me? Do what's on the inside of you today. Come to him. Confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And try to go and sin no more. What do you mean? Try. T-R-Y. You're dealing with, you know, anything. You're dealing with depression. You're dealing with oppression. A bad health. You got to combat that. You're dealing with diabetes and, and, and uh, heart uh, and high blood pressure. Stop eating fried food. Bake your food. Have a balanced plate. Veggies, meat, and bread. Complex carbohydrates. I'm not a doctor, but that's what they told me. You're dealing with depressions. You know, stop thinking about them things. Think about things that make you happy. He'll keep your mind in perfect peace whose mind has stayed up on him. Stop thinking about you ain't got lack of money. For the Bible says he is Jehovah Jireh. The Lord will provide. Don't, don't think about what you don't have. You'll run yourself crazy. Think about what's going to happen and what you're going to do to go get it. Legally. <laughs> I mean that. So you know, let's think good thoughts. And let's not worry about other folks' opinion because this is an opinion. Opinions are just like buttholes. Everybody got one. Let me say that again. Opinions are just like buttholes. Every guy, everybody has one, but guess what? It don't mean it's true. I hear myself talking. So let's, you know, let's 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 do the bounce back. Let's do the 180. It hurts when people reject you. It hurts when people try to tell you, hey, that ain't gonna work. That's what they think. What do you think? I'm JD the Motivator. I hope you enjoyed this and I approve this message. Hey, check us out on the Palace Network, Facebook, JD the Motivator, also Instagram, JD the Motivator, and TikTok. Check us out. Love you. Take care.